This video is dedicated to Ginger with Gels and Gems Nails and Mr. Gels and Gems for getting my intros back for me and my giggling ghost at the end. I love you too. It's Manny Me Day. It's Manny Me Day. 2020 is the year that just won't go away. All right, just a little a business before we get to checking out this box. Uh, so, like I said, Ginger and Mr. Sparks from Gels and Gems Nails did video grabs for me. He made those intros for me anyway, and I lost everything. I had to do a complete system restart on my phone because both my phone and this stupid power director, here are little words down here, little watermark that I paid to have removed, and it's still there. They updated the same time and blew my phone up. So everything completely locked up. I couldn't do a systems backup and had to do a systems restart on my phone and lost everything, including my little giggling ghost that is my grandson. That's his first Halloween and he started laughing and my daughter recorded it for me and I've added that to the end of all my videos. Thanks to them, I have it back. I love you guys. Thank you so much. Power Director, I hate you. All right, I got some Manny and Me today, and let's check it out. This, is, of course, is a giveaway video. If you want information on that, read down below. I don't want to go through all of it. Ah, uh, soothe the soul. Dang it. Can't soothe the soul here. So my life has been anything but soothe, soul soothing this week. All right, uh, it's an aromatherapy Manny and Me box. Okay. Beautiful blends. So we have a mint, a soft green stamping polish with a lush cream finish and chamomile, a warm marigold stamping polish with a soft silvery metallic shimmer. Ooh. Okay. And some cuticle oil. And next up in the box, we got stickers instead of gummies. I don't eat sugar. I'm not supposed to eat sugar. Uh, so, I don't know. I'm tired of getting the stickers, though. <laughs> Here is the Manny that they did. I don't know, you guys. What is it about the negative space? I just don't really like the, like, unpolished fingers with stamping on it. Not my jammy jams. What do you guys think? It's like they always do this anymore. I don't know why, but anyway, there's some instructions on step-by-step step how they did that Manny. Not saying her Manny's not pretty. I'm just saying I don't know why they don't put polish behind it. And they almost never use the polishes they give you. I don't know what that's about either. All right, next up we have some cuticle oil in here. And this is um, softens and nourish. Highly recommend any cuticle oil. Just stick the stuff on. Just use it all the time. You won't be sorry. Um, I don't know what that smells like. Does it say what it smells like? Oh, why don't you read the little thingy, Gylene? Um, Jasmine. It smells really good. It doesn't smell floral, really. It's a little sweet. It's okay. Out of that is Jasmine. It is very very nice smells really nice happy with that open up the polishes and get into these plates it also has the stamping guide for those that need it and plates that are exclusive the polish is not you will be able to buy the polish later so if you're unsure about this box you can buy the express kit which you only get the plates that are not available at any other time. and But the polish and the extra you can purchase later. It is, I believe, like $14.99. You get the plates and the extra. Or with the polish, I believe it's $25 is the like higher priced if you only buy one month at a time. I do earn a Samal smidge commission. And that enables me to purchase an extra box for you guys. So I appreciate if you would use Guileen325 
to save 10% off anything you buy at Maniology. You can also follow a link below and save if it's your very first time purchasing from them. You could save five bucks. Otherwise, my discount code does not apply to the box. And the 10% off only applies to things that are not sale items. So if you have something that's a sale item or already discounted in your cart, the 10% will not apply. Ooh, getting smoother about that, aren't I? As always, I try my best not to see anything on Instagram, which I've done really good this month, or I just delete the emails. They do give you an opportunity to look at what is in the box and you can hold that box and not have to receive it. If it's something you don't feel like you'd like, I do my best. I get them anyway, you guys, whether I like them or not. This is my honest opinion. This is my first visual sighting of this box. And um, I do that just so that you can get my first reaction. And I, I don't want to know what's in it. I want to be surprised. I want to show it to you and give you my first gut reaction, which is sometimes, you know, a little sketchy and a little snarky, but sorry. But I am going to tell you whether or not I think this stamp, these polishes stamp worth that diddly toot. And the plates are always amazing. I mean, as far as stamping goes, these plates are always great about picking up and being able to transfer. Whether or not you like the designs or I like the designs is, you know, what it is. Um, I did want to take a minute to show you, uh, I'm hoping that these will work on this. I don't think that they will. I don't know. Maximus. And this is the hollow version. This is from Bases Loaded Lacquer. And it is a beautiful duochrome hollow. Oh, I can't wait to put this stuff on. It is very shifty and beautiful. I don't know that I'm going to be able to use that with this, but maybe I'm wanting to try that out. I just got that. So I am going to swatch these polishes and plates. And I did have a couple complaints about not swatching the entire, all the plates with my giant stamper. So I will do that for you guys. And if it's something that you don't like, then just say so. But most people do. But be aware, this is going to be a long video if I do that. You know, ugh, don't get me started with the editing. Now I get sometimes carried away and just think that everybody, this is your, like, you know, you guys have always been with me. Most of you have, but if you're new to my channel, I'm going to go through a little bit more basics just so that you know, when you get these, you're not surprised. They do come in a sleeve with blue film on them. You do have to remove this film before you stamp with them because otherwise it ain't going to happen. All right. So I first glance, I think these are really cute. They've got a bunch of different types of plants and it shows you what the plants are. It tells you, I love words, love stamping with words. Those are a little harder to do. Sometimes they don't show up as well with a base coat that is dark, but, um, first impression, I think that's pretty cute. And these, this one is a layered plate. So you would do three different colors. So it uh, just fills it in for you. Um, so like this one, you would stamp this and then this over it in an accent color and then like a dark color over the top of it. And it looks like, um, yeah, there's quite a few of those on here. That's pretty cool. All right. So you're just going to remove that film by, you know, taking something and your fingernail if you want to, but I don't. And gently pulling that off without don't bend your plate make sure that you're holding it so that you're not like doing it straight up and bending your plate there's my phone there's me hello and pull that off the plate oh get it out of the glare a uh, quick look at that plate and a quick look at that plate without the film on it. And these are M050 and M059. Uh, I'm sorry, 
MXM, which is actually Manny by me. I say Manny and me. I'm sorry. Heart, habits are hard to break. That's just what it's always been to me until I found out I was wrong. I'm never wrong. <laughs> Okay, so 50 and 49 and 50. So you know it's a Manny and Me exclusive plate when it has X, M, X, M. And it's just a little cold. So let's check out the polishes. And here is the first one. In the bottle, it looks pretty dang opaque, I gotta say. And it is Mint B366. And this one is a very pretty metallic. Oh, I don't think I have anything that color. And it's Chamomile B367. I'm actually going to try to start making sure that I am showing you comparisons with polishes I already have from Maniology, um, stamping polishes, and see if I have any that compare. All right, with bright lights out of the corner of my eye, I picked up this one. Um, it is France Land. It's not even close. So... <laughs> I just grabbed that because I thought maybe it was close to this, but it's not. So the other one I grabbed that I have is Soft Sage. And yes, it is a smaller uh, 7 mil bottle. They are normally 13 mil bottles. Uh, I, I don't know. I think these came in kits, these little ones. I'm not sure, but now I think if you mix these two, you would get this. But that's the closest I have to uh, the mint. So I am happy that I got that. And as far as um, chamomile goes, uh, here's what I found. They're not even close. They have a lot of metallics and I really love all of them. And this one is definitely like not snow drift, snow drift in Jack. It's definitely not like exactly duped of any of those they do put these handy dandy little swatching uh stickers on the top of the bottles you have to be very quick so i'll try not to go blah 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 and just swatch it <laughs> so that you can see how it looks over white and black i mean i feel like it's a little different As far as I'm concerned, a stamping polish should look exactly the same over white or black, like the same color. The black shouldn't show through. I mean, some are going to show up better over black or versus white, you know, but it should look the same. And it does not, but I wish that stop stamped better over the black white too for that matter I mean yeah I mean you can see the plates are really nice as a stamping polish it's pretty weak and that's I don't know I'm gonna give this one a B minus well if you don't have all these handy dandy things I think they still have them I don't know but Everybody needs a cotton claw. And this thing is held up really good. I'm surprised. But I do like that. All right. Let's check out the uh, mint. On my nails, I just have builder gel. Ooh, that's pretty. See what I said about waiting too long and yapping. Um, that one also, I'm going to say B minus. It could be more opaque, but it is pretty. And I understand that they are trying to make sure that these polishes are good base coats too and don't chip. All right, I'm going to use my Maniology stamping station and peel off this piece of paper. Um, and then I use that to write down my notes about what it was uh, I used. Here is this polish. This is one coat. You guys, this stuff really did cover really nice on one coat. So I don't know. I think um, it's really pretty. And we're going to see what it really looks like on paper. Um, I, I don't know that how they'll stamp over each other. But... 
I'm probably just going to use either a black, I, I don't know, I'm leaning toward poison for an outline, this really dark green. I really like that too. Ooh, there we go. Very, very pretty. Love that. That is two coats. My giant sticky stamper is from GP Stamping. I will put the link below. It You have to go on Facebook and private message them to order it. And it, it does come from, I don't know, I can't remember where he is located. But I use this to just swatch with. I mean, you could use it to make uh, like giant decals to cut, whatever. That's uh, just not what I use it for, but also I decided I'm not going to use black. It is too much of a pain in the butt to clean up. So I'm just going to grab a dark blue and do blue. Um, scraper needs cleaned. There are all the images. Let's try. Yeah. From M O X O four nine. <laughs> Very pretty images. I just I really like the little flowers. I think those are cute. I love that they say what they are. Just a cute little like garden gardening thing and oils. Peace love oil. All right, so this one, I think it's going to be too hard for me to just swatch the whole thing. I'm going to show you a couple of layers off of here. Probably not going to do them all, but I'll do a few. These are going to be a little harder. You're going to be uh, need to be a little more advanced to get these to line up correctly. And I believe this one too. Um, this one you could put across your fingers. Same thing. You're going to have to be a little... Uh, well, maybe not to just do the bottle on one finger and then, you know, like put the steam across there. Steam aroma, whatever visible scent. Um, but I believe that these little ones would probably be easier to do. Wow, this thing's getting long. All right, so I had to switch to a different stamper. Uh, you know, one I could see through. Can't really stamp layers with that opaque giant stamper and um so these colors are very beautiful alone they don't really stamp that well over each other because i don't know there's just not enough of a contrast so i did actually end up grabbing turquoise um on my nails because it showed up better uh, i did still use the mint in the chamomile but I added turquoise. You really need like three really good contrasting colors when you're going to be doing layering like this. And I absolutely love poison, this dark green metallic to stamp with. But I'm just going to show you quickly how to do a layer also. So I stamped the first two. I don't know, I guess that's the, one, the first layer I put that down. I always start with the most um, empty space, the negative space. That's a full color. And if you have problems picking those up or scraping them, make sure you're using a really stiff scraper so it doesn't scrape the image. And you're just going to have to line them up. I mean, it just takes a little practice to line up these images and you know like contacts and glasses <laughs> to be able to see it that's what i do at least 
and then the outermost layer uh, you want to really dark polish you want to be able to see that outline and uh, I really should have done I don't know the gold maybe should have been a medium green it's cute I do like these images I think they're cute but that outline on the third one there I did I tried white didn't work and here's what I did I think these are really cute I do like these plates and I do like these polishes and I love this oil I love the smell of this but if you don't like the smell of jasmine I'm guessing you're not gonna like it all right you guys um please check the rules and the instructions below for the giveaway. I do these every single month. I also have a Brave Steven nail polish giveaway coming up. I will pick this winner and the winner from the gel. If you haven't seen that one yet, go enter that one. I'm giving away some Madam Glam gel. Today is Super Bowl. Super Bowl games getting ready to start pretty soon. I got to get off here. This video is so stinking long. Thanks for joining me. As I said, I've lost everything. I don't have my videos anymore. So I do have a couple of fun clips to put in here of Casey's dogs. And of course, my giggling ghost. Thanks again, guys. Thank you. Bye. <laughs> Abby sliding around on the cover. <laughs> Try to get off of it. Boogie boogie boo! Boogie boogie boo! Boogie boogie boo! Boogie boogie boo! Boogie boogie boo!